welcome to string manipulation video four. In this video I want to create formulas that can count the number of words within a string. So here we have our sentence and then here we have our two methods of counting the number of words. So we have four words in this one. If I go what time is it right now? As you can see they changed to six. So these formulas can figure out how many spaces are in there and then based on the spaces within the string, they devise ways to uh, calculate that. So I'm first going to show you the easy method, and then we can do the array method, which I think is super cool. So the first thing we can do is figure out what we're trying to do here, and that is count the number of spaces and then add one. So after every word, we have a space, and then after the last word, we need to add another space to count that last word. So I'm going to do that is go equal len or length of a text. That's my length. And go ahead and send that down. And then what I can do is see this gives me the number of characters within these specific strings. But what I'd like to do is actually count the number of spaces. So what I can do is take the length of this and then subtract the substitutive value of this string which will have no spaces. So what I can do is go minus the length of the substitutive value. Here's my text. My old text is space. My new text is a blank, so no space. And no instance number because I want it to occur on all spaces. So if I highlight this and then hit calculate now, that's going to give me 24. And if you recall, this had 31, so it's going to be it's going to give me 31 minus 24, which is equal to 7. And just out of curiosity, I'll show you what the substitute value looks like. My name is Bob, and that is true, with no spaces. So if I get rid of that, um, this should give me the number of words within this sentence minus 1. So I'm just going to add 1. Bring it up to 8, send it down. Okay, so the array method. This is the method I really like. It's cool. It's uh, definitely not necessary, but I like it. So here's how you do it. The first thing we need to do is create an indirect function that we're going to use within our rows formula. So I'm going to go ahead and type in equals indirect. My reference text is going to be quote one through quote ampersand. And then I'm going to say the length of this string. And that should give me 1 through 31. OK, so there's 31 characters, and we want to look at every single one of them. Then what I'm going to do is surround that with a row function. And what that's going to do is turn that text, that 1 through 31, into an array. If I highlight the whole thing and hit Calculate Now, it gives me this array syntax 1 through 31. And that's really cool. That's actually a, a method I learned from Excel is Fun. And I'm going to show you how we're going to use that. We're going to use that formula within a mid function. So I'm going to go mid. My text is going to be this. My start number is going to be this array. So it's going to give us a bunch of starts. And then my number of characters is going to be 1. So what that's going to do is separate, separate all the characters into a larger array. So there you go. That's the syntax. And then what we're going to do is go, are any of those characters equal to a space? Just like so. Now I have a series of falses and trues, which is pretty cool. But what I can do after that is actually convert those to ones and zeros by doing a mathematical operation of negative, negative. Now I have a bunch of zeros and ones. Then what I can do is use that within a sum product and hit enter. And it should give me seven because we're counting the spaces. So I can just go plus one and it gives me the eights. And there you go, that's the array method. Now, the, is the array method necessary? Probably not, but is it cool? Totally. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always email me at xlsxgeek at gmail.com, or better yet, leave a comment below.